Chris and Dan show. How's it going? What's going on? How the hell are you guys? Not the usual exuberance that I expect. I can't. I gotta turn it down. <laughs> you think I can afford an actual studio? Like, one one traveling studio? There are some podcasts that travel to the locations. Yeah. yeah. Um, which maybe we'll do one day when we're big, when we grow up. So why, why, why a little less on the exuberance side, a little less uh, energetic? You want to tell the audience? Well, you know why. I know why, but they don't. I mean, look behind me, guys. Like, mad scientist stuff going on here. So you're I'm at work. I'm in a doctor's office. Yeah. I'm in a doctor's office, um, nestled away in a bunker <laughs> right now. Well, we got uh, someone named Michael Amaru Blanco, right? First time commenter. And we love the first time comment. There's nothing better than that. But the only thing better is when they do a Nate Dog song. Ah. So after our one yesterday, see, he's got it. The guy's got a cult following. After we did our video yesterday, we got Michael commenting and saying, you know what? Why don't you do The Hardest Man in Town by Nate Dog? And I managed to find the video with the lyrics. I like this song. See if you can catch the hidden meaning or what. See, Chris, if you can figure out what Nate Dogg's talking about in this song, okay? Is it, uh, is there lyrics on screen or? Yes, lyrics on screen. That'll be helpful. I, I have a shot. You have a shot, but this is not really rap, so, you know, you would have had a shot without it, T. Okay. All right, try to guess what he's singing about. Here we go. Classic song. For us, you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share. That's perfect. Well, the hardest man, please stand. The homie stood right up. Sagging pants, gadding hands. The nigga was a nut. Looney low key, OG. Been banging from the jump. Dressed in all black, ready to jack. And he still don't give a fuck. A friend of mine, he used to be. Before I got caught up, he used to roll with me way back in 93. When I was broke as fuck, be prepared to blast, that's all that he had. Cause if he's to ride with you, we gonna make some cash. And cash, you can toss him when you're through. The hardest man in town. The hardest man in town. The hardest man in town. The hardest man on the ground. Little big man, don't you see me lying here? Pick me up if you dare. I make your life easier. Cause I be bumping fear. Disrespect, you don't have to take. If you see him coming, just wake me in his face. But you ain't the only one, they got a friend like me, so hurry up, let's go, I'm kinda tired of being broke, I know you gotta get paid, I can show you the way, so take me home, polish the cross, load me up, and put me to his dome, I got a lot of work to do, so toss me and be gone. You're a big man now. 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 I told you once before I'm pumping. Fear. Nobody's gonna step to you. Let them know I'm here. And if you have questions in the corner of your mind, pull the trigger and leave your questions behind. 
the hardest man in town. The hardest man in town. The hardest man around. The hardest man in town. The hardest man in town. The hardest man in town. The hardest man around. The hardest man. So there you go. Did you did you enjoy Chris? So it, young interest, Chris. interesting lyrics. It sounds like it's about um, he's singing first person from a gun of a gun. That's right. That's so, right. So interesting lyrics. You would have gotten that without the lyrics, too. Most likely, but it certainly makes it easier uh, with yeah. the lyrics on the screen. But yep. um, very interesting lyrics. If Again, you know, and I don't mean to say the same stuff over and over, but the music didn't really catch me. That would have been a very interesting song, more aggressively done, my opinion. Yeah, but it's Nate. It's Nate Dogg, you know. It's not aggressive. I understand. It's I understand. Smooth. I understand more an R and B kind of thing, um, <clears throat> more like a Johnny Cash type of thing. Oh, uh, Johnny Cash had some some fairly aggressive songs, right? Um, but yeah, if you're going to talk about a gun and killing people and pulling the trigger and all of that, uh, lends itself more to kind of an aggressive nature, my perspective. But that's exact. My perspective is precisely why this works. Because precisely why, <clears throat> what it's makes it that cool. Because it's kind of hidden or what? Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like deceptive because it's so smooth and good sounding. You wouldn't expect that kind of exactly. message. Yes. <clears throat> okay, I suppose I could see that, and it's unique. I mean, no one else, even to this day, can do this kind of music. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Definitely an interesting message. Uh, you're not. You're if... not buying. <laughs> no, but it's very interesting. You're close. Um, I don't know if I'm close. Like I said, the music's just not hitting me, um, but the the lyrics are. So yeah. you got to have both. You got to have voice, both. The lyrics. Yeah. Just not the beat. Right. Um, I don't think I've ever heard a song like that. That's Seeing why the commenters put it on. First perspective from, from a first person perspective of a gun. Uh, interesting. Oh, I got, okay. I'm going to call Audible for the next one. <laughs> you get some Actually, <laughs> a commenter put it. I have to find who, who they were. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you for the request, whoever who who mentioned the song. Um, this was Michael Amaru Blanco. All right, all right, definitely an interesting song, Michael. <sighs> Long live Nate Dogg, the goat, greatest of all time. Thank you guys for watching. Thank Take you. Care. <laughs>